Situated on the west coast, Bristol is the most inland of England's major ports. It was the docks that formed the basis of Bristol's prosperity. Ships sailed from here to search for new lands and in due course to trade all over the world in almost everything we can think of, but especially wine, rum, tobacco, and sugar. years ago, the little ships ventured from the ancient city of Bristol a lands unknown and undeveloped. Today and every day, ploughing along the shipping lanes of the world, are vessels of all types, liners and tramps, carrying cargo to and from this modern port of Bristol. And don't forget the diver, sir. Altogether, over five and a half million tons of goods pass through the port each year. Three and a half millions in foreign trade and over two million coastwise. The highest approval an old time seaman could give to a job well and truly done was to say that it was ship shape and Bristol fashion. Time, there's been several ships have been grounded and turned over when the tide's gone out and one of them was a ship called the Ettrick and uh, I can remember there were a lot of boots on there yes. and all these boots you know, floated out and people were scrambling down onto the mud and getting the boots. Brunel's SS Great Britain was another part of his grand scheme to link up London and New York through Bristol. Most importantly she was built of iron and she was fitted with a propeller, so becoming the world's first iron-built, ocean-going, propeller-driven ship. She was the first ship to sail the Atlantic in 14 days. She was the first ship to use steel rigging. She was the first ship to uh, use screw propulsion. Really, she was at least 50 years ahead of her time. Of a new road coming out behind the warehouse there and crossing over to Cannons Marsh on the other side. The area is part of what's called the Harbourside Project, a large-scale development site along the floating harbour surrounding the Lloyds building just below the city centre. Five landowners joined forces last March to work on ways of breathing new life into Bristol's Dockland. 